Hi, welcome again. Today we're going to talk about Unreal Engine and noises in Unreal Engine and how we can use them. So recently I released a project called uh, Landscape Decals, which is a part of the Open Land Landscape Material. Here we have a nice uh, a way of using noise. Uh, let me show you. All right, uh, here we have some decal. I can uh, remove the noise and this is how it looks like. Then I can turn on the noise. Right? You can see some grass grow on top of this decal. And then I can change the noise pattern like this. Also, I can like move it here and there, the noise. And also I can change the noise range and I can control how much of like details of the noise that, that I want. Also, I can change the scale. So a couple of people have asked me how I created this. Right here, I created this everything inside Android Engine uh, with the default noise function comes with. I somehow managed to expose these uh, parameters so I can uh, tune it uh, as I like. So here I'm trying to show my process. Right, this is the whole functionality of this noise and how I created this. Here we are using the default noise functions comes with Unreal Engine and I here comes the UV and this is the end result in mass so you can use this for any purpose. And if you want to grab this and here's the total code and you can completely use this. And maybe that's the end of this video if that's what you want but here I'm trying to show you why I pick each an individual node and what's the reason behind them so that might help you to make wise decisions. Alright, uh, let's get started. First, I'm gonna create a new material so we can start fresh. I'm gonna rename it at M noise. We, let's grab some plane, or empty plane, so we can see how it looks like. And I'm gonna scale it a little bit. Uh, I think it's too small. All right, let's scale this up for, let's say, 10 times. All right, now we can actually see what's going on here. I'm gonna create a material instance out of this noise material so we can easily change parameters. And then I'm gonna put it over here. Right. Now let's open the material. Right. First thing is uh, let's get our noise function. Here we have a couple of noise function. Uh, one is noise, another one is vector noise. And then I'm gonna select the vector noise first. Then I'm gonna grab the texture coordinate node. So I have some UVs. Then I'm gonna multiply it by some values so we can control the tiling. And uh, let's put it like this. I'm gonna put one over here. And I'm going to convert this into a parameter so we can uh, change the tiling from the material instance. And then here this noise function accept a 3D uh, vector as the position. So I'm going to say append. I have a 3D uh, vector right now from a 2D vector because the texture coordinate is a 2D vector. I'm going to set it into the position. And if you find this is kind of difficult, this UV things, so I have a separate video of UV manipulation. Uh, I'll explain a lot of, about UVs in that and you can check that video if you're interested. I'm gonna put a plane over here and I'm gonna right click and add the start preview in not so we can see what's happening here. Now I'm gonna control the tiling a little bit. I'm gonna put the uh, default value to 10. Right now we have, yeah, we can see something out of this. So this is a cell noise. So here uh, basically we can get the individual value. So if we want like I'm gonna gonna component mask and I'm gonna get the only the red channel so we have a single value so we can use that a mask very easily so I'm gonna preview that right so now you get a cell noise this is important that if you want to like uh, get different cells and uh, as a single value and do interesting things so so this is not useful for our, our case and here we have another one called pearly noise so which is a common noise and so there's another variant of pearly noise, gradient noise, and like that. So here we are not going to use this noise function. The reason is uh, this has some interesting uses, like if you are procedurally changing something. But here uh, we don't have like a interesting shape. It's just like you can see uh, the gradient over here, but uh, it's not good enough for our case, and it doesn't have much variations in it. So that's why uh, we have another sort of noise that's called fractal noise. So basically with fractal noises, we get a single uh, pearly noise, some noise like this, and we scale it uh, differently and we stack them together and we create a, a single uh, batch noise. So it has more variation and like clouds, that's what we want and that's useful for our scenario. If that's want, uh, we need to use a different function. Uh, we call it as a uh, noise. Uh, so that's a, the usual noise function available in Unreal Engine. I'm gonna select that. So then I'm gonna delete this vector noise because that's not what we want connect it like this all right so basically now i have so you can see immediately i get more details over here and so that's exactly what we want 
So let me uh, show you a couple of things here in the noise function section. So it shows the algorithm used here. Uh, we have a couple options, uh, simplex, so this is the default one, texture based. Also we have fast gradient, if you are targeting of mobiles, so this might be better I guess. But if you are targeting PCs uh, with a like a mid-range GPU, so you can easily use this gradient computational. So here we uh, generate the uh, noise directly inside the GPU without using textures. And the reason why this is important is if you are trying to use this in a large area, and then uh, you can get a really uh, nice look and it's uh, quite interesting to see. Uh, I'll show you in a moment if we have the, some time. So if you use the texture base and that's totally fine if you're using in a small area, but if the if you scale your noise texture of the place and it, you can easily see the repetition in this case. So if I'm targeting for a PC and uh, I'm targeting for a large area, then I'll, I'll definitely use the computational. And uh, some people say it will cost your GPU's shared uh, computation, but for a uh, decent GPU, the, this is totally fine. And here we have some levels. So let me increase this to maybe to 10. So then it will uh, give us more details in this case, like this. So I'm, I'm gonna use uh, like, 10. So if you increase this level and it will add some uh, thing to the performance of your game. So in this case, I'm going to use the computational and levels 10 because uh, I'm not targeting for a mobile or a VR game. So that's totally fine. Right now we have this. I'm going to simply uh, connect this into my base color because I, I need to preview that one. So I'm going to save this. Then I can see that on my plane over here. Now I can open my material instance and we can control this. Uh, only right now we only have the tiling option like this. So basically this is the scaling. You can see now we are scaling the noise like this. If I reduce the value, uh, that's when we can uh, scale this uh, noise function. So the, so this is totally fine. Uh, but so instead of multiplying, I'm going to divide this and I'm going to connect the tiling over here and I'm going to put this multiply over here. All right. I'm going to delete this multiply. All right. Then I'll start with one by default. Then I go to my uh, here, right. So this is the one looks like. Right. Then I reduce the value, right. Then it will reduce the noise. If I increase the value, it will increase the noise. Right. This is exactly what we need. So it makes sense. Right now, let's talk about the uh, range. So I'm going to select this noise function. Here we have the min and max values. By default, it's called uh, minus one to one. That's totally fine, but I cut out some details because for this, in order to see that, we can only see values from zero to one. So in this case, uh, so we don't see values minus one to zero. We, we lost some data. So in order to fix that, I'm gonna start with zero over here, out mode min. Right, this is the noise function. I, I get more data over here and it looks ugly sometimes. This is not what we want, but so now uh, we have the full detail and we can control that. I'll, I'll show you how to control this with the range. So instead of putting this into here, I'll, I'll do something uh, quite interesting. I'm going to open the left knot, right linear interpolate. Okay. All right. Here, I'm going to set this as alpha over here and put it to base color. And it will give me the same result because here uh, A is zero and B is um, one and our alpha is always the zero to one value as we mentioned over here, right? Uh, we get the expected result. But now I'm gonna hit S and I'm gonna create a parameter and I'm gonna say, say this is as a noise range start at zero, that's fine. Then I'm gonna duplicate this and I'm gonna rename this as noise range end. I'm gonna connect that into the B channel, right? Right, uh, I need to set the default value as one. So it's the same result. I'm going to save this. Then let's go to my material instance over here. Now we have the noise over here. Uh, I think I need to save this so I can have these uh, parameters on the uh, material instance. Now I can reduce this value. Right now I can control how my noise looks. If I reduce the value, uh, it's the same as putting my minus one over here. But now we have the controller from the material instance. So basically we can, yeah, we can increase this value. Basically we can play with these two values and get the result that we really need. Okay, now we have a control for range as well. 
so here you can see the uh, the noisy scale from this corner so that's because of the uvs but you can easily uh change how to change how to scale it from the middle in order to do that uh, i have a separate video on uv manipulation just check that i'm not going to explain it right now all right now we need to talk about the seed and we need to change the noise variation right now it's the same noise we can scale here and there but uh we need to change the noise seed and we can get a different variations of this noise here's how to do that i'm gonna wrap it inside a command so this is the base ub i really like to organize my code and it's, it's useful if you're working for a large project then uh here i'm gonna add a value to this 3d vector another uh, 3d vector right click i'm gonna hit three the three um, 3d vector i'm gonna append that so basically i'm gonna add some value to this existing vector here is just a zero 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 vector and there's nothing change okay this is the new position i'm gonna convert this into a parameter let's say seed right now i'm gonna hit save so i'm gonna control this from my material instance here uh, this r is the x and rg is the x and y channels and b is the c channel and let's see how the this noise changes with this then i can increase the r channel you can see i'm now uh, changing the my noise uh, from the x direction and this is the y direction and here's the c direction and this is the interesting uh, value right as i change the z value right now i can get a different variations of this noise and the reason is this is a 3d noise so if you put a 3d value and this is how it looks like so it's, it's just like here we are slicing through the uh, c axis uh, so that's why we get a different uh, variation and it's it's just interesting if you put this in a 3d cube and you can uh, get a 3d object from this noise uh, we just slice in through that and that's why we can see some variations over here yep this is very nice uh, now we have the, all the controls we need. Uh, we have the Z value. Uh, we can change the pattern. And we can change the scale of this uh, noise. And then we can change the range. And yeah, uh, this is it. Now you have a noise mask. And you can use this for a lot of places in your material functions and material code. Okay, uh, yeah, I need to uh, uh, talk about one more thing about uh, UVs. If I made a copy of this, so it's not actually... Uh, merging with my uh, other planes so basically we cannot merge these noises and the reason is we are based on the textures texture coordinates for the uvs we can easily fix this we can use the uh, the ground plane as the uh, our uv source and we can uh, simply merge these after that and let me show you how to do this it's quite easy here i'm gonna keep my noise material instance over here then here, this is our texture coordinates in the main UV source. Here, I'm going to get the world position node like this. So here, uh, I can get the absolute world position based on this each and every individual pixel. So if you put it over somewhere here, I can get the pixel from each and every coordinate, world coordinate for each and every pixel. pixel. Okay, that's very useful. From there, I'm going to get a component mask. I'm going to grab only the X and Y axis. So we get the ground plane. And then I'm going to divide this by some value. So I'll explain in a moment. So I'm going to put it at like this. I'm going to put 100 over here. So here's what's happening. So this absolute world position is with the centimeter. So centimeters is Unreal Engine's uh, basic unit. We cannot use that as a UV source directly. So that's why we divide it by 100. So now we get a one meter range. So basically the, now the unit is one meter. So it's kind of usable with the uh, UVs. Uh, so that's why we uh, divide it by 100. Then I'm going to use this as my uh, UV source instead of the texture coordinate for this one. So here it looks like this and that's totally fine. So I'm going to put a cube over the this one. Right, now you can see. Now you can see the noise over here. And if you look at from this angle and you can see it's like this. And that's exactly what the world position, the ground plane mapping does like this. So if you want to learn more about this, uh, you need to read a lot about like uh, planar mapping and there are a lot of uh, good videos in the YouTube. And, but in, in this case, we are only interested about the ground, ground plane. Right now, everything is good. I'm going to save this. Uh, now, uh, actually, the, the tiling is quite diff different because we have different uh, sources, right? I can uh, yeah, increase the tiling like this. Okay. Now, I can easily merge these textures as I want. 
I can get another copy and put it over here. Now you can see they are easily uh, like merging without any uh, seams and that's quite interesting. If you're trying to like merge things like this and this is quite helpful. But as, as I mentioned earlier, I can rotate this like this. You can see if I put it like this, you can see the effect like. So basically it will based on the ground plane. If you try to map this for a quite straight and a slope angle, then this might not look good. Uh, but yeah, that's keep in mind uh, with that one. For our noise, uh, this is just totally fine. All right, this is the end. And if you like this video, you can try to subscribe or like my video. Also, if you really uh, enjoy this content, uh, try to buy open land or some of my products from the marketplace and that will really help me continue experimenting and sharing things like this. All right, see you soon with something interesting. Bye.